Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Let's Talk. My name is Matthias, and I will be your guide. On this episode, we'll be covering the topic labels. Two, how we label others. Before we jump into it, let us pray. Heavenly Father, be with us right now. Send your Holy Spirit to open up our hearts, mind, and soul to your word as we're gathered here from all around the world right now to know more of you, share the love of Jesus Christ, for he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We thank you and we love you. Amen. How do we label others? It's kind of obvious to notice how messed up we actually are. Not referring to Christians, but as human beings, we find it natural to be proudful. But pursuing God is another thing. And that's not all. I could mention a lot of things that could prove how evil we are because of our sin nature, but that's for another day. What is this label I speak of? Well, it's simple, really. Hypocrisy. We are hypocritical creatures. Yeah. No, no, no. It's nothing to be proud of. Okay. It's actually a big issue, and I'm not surprised if it might be a sensitive topic for some, or I might rough up some feathers. But I love my job, so let's get it. Through our pride, there are also things we associate our minds with, relying on our own wisdom, which comes from how one values him, self, or her, self, on high things, the status quo, the stereotypes, etc. Being wise in our own opinions is in a way connected to how we label ourselves and others, where we are self-serving and less likely to turn to God, when in actuality, we should humble ourselves, associate with the humble ones. Romans 12 verse 16. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. We could easily say, Dude, I'm amazing. I'm wonderful for the day I was made. And perfection by the universe. Great is he that is in me than that's in the world, bruv. We could say that till 2035, but the fact is, as long as we do not humble ourselves and know that we are not as important as we think, as much as we put ourselves first, it's our desires to be recognized, to get what we can to please ourselves, no matter how we get it. As long as it's by our own accord, it's fine. Hence, prideful human beings. As long as I'm the only one getting to it, I don't mind pulling Eddie and Jesse under me by calling them out to make me feel better, hence judgmental creatures. You can check that out in James 4 verse 1 to 6. As hypocritical judgment comes, it hits harder. On anyone we see but I'm not sure if you can tell we ain't so different as those we judge or label others for someone to label others they gotta identify with them be in the same boat we can only label what we can relate and expect our God to agree but he won't God looks at our hearts not how we look or feel he values a person's faith fear and love for him not who we judge not our pride and not our works Look at David and King Saul, 1 Samuel 16, verse 7. We are prone to calling someone an addict, drunkard, toxic, a cheater, etc. And all this with specifics, from the outline to the reasoning, which is so convincing you would think that person was there. How can you expect to help someone when you can't help yourself? Admit you need help. That's when you can help someone else. Remove the stubbornness and see that we all are in the same boat. Call on him who judges fairly and truly. And when we do seek help that guy or girl, you can check Matthew 7 verse 1 to 5. And Romans 2 verse 1 to 5. I'm not sure about you, but once you get the word of Christ in your life, you see the mirror that's right in front of you, exposing the faults in your eyes, the lies you placed on yourself and others. You see that once you humble yourself, pride has no room in your life. And once you show kindness, judging others won't harden your heart no more. Ephesians 4 verse 32 And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. The servant, the scholar, and the noble are the types of people who exalt themselves. For there's no one here who is safe from God's wrath that humbles the prideful and the judgmental, unless they turn from their sins and submit to God. Humble themselves, then they will be exalted like the tax collector in Luke 18.
13 verse 9 to 14 steps to removing labels number one look inside yourself and be humble. look deep inside and see that you're a sinner how many times have you seen evil and done it number two when you seek him early seek for forgiveness what do i mean by early before anything before you act or say a thing at that moment realize how fair our god is how many times has he given you chances to stop and confess your wrongs but you refuse to change we refuse to turn away number three seek him earnestly so you can find the fault what do i mean by earnestly realize the seriousness of your claims of your judgment or your pride ask yourself does it really matter where is the truth in it where is jesus in what i'm saying don't you know you will be held responsible for your claims seek jesus christ as you confess your fault so he can help you change your heart number four help them don't label them once you've realized your mistakes and solved them you are now applicable to help others assist those around you so they don't make the same mistakes you did not what you're doing if you've already labeled someone then you need to ask god to help you see clearly and help you to ask for forgiveness remember it's the people we judge wrongly that anger god the most opposed to those we admire those are the people that he does not consider lastly number five number five seek christ first and point them to him what do i mean by first above all else jesus christ is the most important person in our lives luke 6 verse 35 let's get this straight we need to know that god's kindness shows how merciful he is and how we should approach tough times love those who hate us and do good to those we think that don't deserve it but did we ever deserve him to begin with yeah no no we didn't that's grace that's why we need to repent that's the love of a father that gave his son for us because he loves us and we should forgive love and remove these labels